song to my mother when he was courting her. I'm glad they got together. By the light of the silvery moon, I want to spoon to my honey I'll croon loves to. My sister grew up a tiny bit in dance and I loved the tights that she wore and her tap shoes, so I would always wear them throughout the house. I was dancing around the house until my mom was finally like, okay, we need to put him in dance classes. This is gonna be right for him. I never wanted to go because I was too embarrassed and also I didn't want to dance with others. Like, dance was my thing. We were shopping at Target one day, and I came across this huge stuffed animal of a, of a tiger. I wanted it so bad, so my mom said, I will get it for you if you do a few weeks of dance classes. I got the tiger, and I, I fell in love with dancing. I, like, I really loved it so, so much. or 17 and one of my dance teachers had gone to New York for I think it was the first ever New York Gaga intensive and he had come back and was telling all of all of us in the class you know about this crazy movement language and described some of the things that he had experienced and I was like what is that <laughs> you know I was obsessed, I was, I was sold. I was like, Batsheva and Gaga are like the thing that I want. It is my, it is my dream. It reminded me why I love to dance. After auditioning twice, I still didn't get accepted. It was really infuriating and humbling. I felt like I'd never connected to something so much in my life. I wanted it so badly. And I promised myself that I would do a year in Israel. Once I decided that, I sent Batsheva an email saying, I'm gonna move to Israel and be in Tel Aviv for a year. And I you know, don't wanna cross any boundaries, but I feel a really special connection to Batsheva and learning repertory and studying Gaga heavily. And so I asked for an apprenticeship which they responded saying, oh, we didn't know this was a possibility. Uh, we'll get back to you. And then three weeks later, they emailed me saying, we're curious how this relationship can continue, and so we're gonna offer you an apprenticeship for next season. And I cried and it changed my life. It changed my life. It's challenging living 6,000 miles from my family. You know, I, I don't know what the future holds, but I know that I love my life here and that I'm building a life here. Israel is so dynamic, you know. I love the culture. I love the intensity. It's, it's rough, it's blunt, it's honest, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I feel like I'm living my dream every day, and that's it.